So <laughs> you might have just seen a herd of hello then. Uh, that is one of my ravens, Fable. Hello. You gonna say hi? Hi. There you go. So I just want you to come and meet one of my favorite birds um, that I own here. Hi. Um, this is Fable. Can you say hello? Hello. Um, unlike my other birds, she absolutely loves her and head tickle, which is what she's asking for here. She's being a total show off today. Um, it's the only place that I touch her, to be fair. I don't stroke any of her back feathers or anything like that. Um, I think it's important for her condition um, that she keeps all the waterproofing on her feathers, um, so I don't overly stroke her. And to be honest, she's a little bit like a cat, you know, if something um, isn't sort of on her terms, you know, it's not happening. Hi. Hello. You are beautiful. Um, obviously I have my stupid bird voice which I talk to her in um, and she's a total show off. Uh, I'm essentially her bonded partner so um, she's a bit of a flues with me. Boop 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 boop. <laughs> Right, we better go in. Uh, she's about two years old now, and I've had her since she was a few weeks old. Boop, boop. Uh, she is probably one of my favourite characters that I work with. Boop, boop. Um, she's absolutely showing for us, showing off for us. Uh, this bird, honestly, has been quite hard to film because she's actually quite superstitious. Uh, if ravens don't really trust you, or if they don't trust something new in the environment, they're not really a fan of it. Um, so it's taken me a few months sort of to get a use to things, um, especially cameras. Um, the other problem you have with ravens is that they're really inquisitive and um, so if I'm holding something like this camera I've got a big um, dead cat mic on the top of this uh, it's pretty much gonna look like something for her fun to play with so um, I'm surprised she hasn't already tried to land on the camera here she is hi I'm just gonna switch the camera around um, she's in a really good mood today I don't know quite know why hi boop boop we have some boops boop boop she just wants a head kiss boop, boop. Um, wow. Wow. I've been teaching her so long to do that. That's uh, one of the first times I've actually caught that on camera. She's given us a kiss as well. Um, Fable is really funny. Ravens are quite interesting creatures and they're a lot like um, parrots. You yeah, know, they can mimic quite a range of stuff. Yeah. Um, funnily enough, you can spend months saying stuff at them, boop, boop, um, but they boop, don't boop. tend to say what you want them to say when that you want them to say it. Um, so I've been saying wow at Fable for about three months um, and it's only just taken her really last week before she's decided to say it. Hi. Um, but hi and hello were the first sort of things that um, she learned. Um, she is absolutely stunning. Thank you. Um, she's currently trying to groom me. Um, if anyone thinks that these guys are cute, although she's pulling her super cute mode at the minute, um, I can warn you otherwise. I mean, take a look at that beak. Hello. Um, it is huge and very much like a parrot beak. Um, it is really, really strong. Um, I would rather get bitten by any of my birds of prey than this lovely lady. Hello. Mwah. Um, and they are a lot like a cat in how they act. So, um, yeah, they can be quite spiteful you know if things don't go their way they can get very frustrated and when you work with corvids uh, it's quite important that you sort of build a language up with them and it's you know it's taken me and fable really all the time that we've been together to sort of suss each other out and um, you know she can be lovely like this but other days I walk in here and I walk straight back out the door because to be honest you know she can be a real bully um, and you know my approach with her is to say you know I'm not cool with that I'm not cool with you um, being mean to me but when she's like this she's absolutely wonderful I daren't put this camera down anywhere because I know she'll just come and explore it hi hello Wah, wah. That's a good one. You like the camera today? She is, you know, really quite on one today, which is quite wonderful. Um, I don't film her as much as I should, really. But if you guys really enjoy her, then I will definitely do some more filming with her. Hey, um, you can see she's just being slightly destructive on my arm there. We'll get some better light. There you go. Lovely. That's really nice. Wow. Wow, you gonna say it again? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> she can't laugh yet and she can't swear, thank goodness. Um, I'm really careful about what I say around her because to her, basically, what she's doing is mimicking me. So um, what's really important to remember is how they are in the wild. You know, they live in family groups um, and young ravens have to learn quite a range of words um, to begin with. Now, their sounds mean things like danger, hello, food, excuse me. Um, and so obviously Fable has that capacity to learn, except that I hand reared her, so um, her, she much prefers to learn the words I say. Now, I'm a crazy bird lady, so the first thing I ever said to her was hello. Um, and so that's why hello is the first noise or word that she learned. Um, but her vocab she's got with probably at least 50 words now. Um, some of those are full sentences, so she'll say things like, what are you doing? Um, can I have a kiss? Um, so she's you know quite amazing really with her memory um, what I really want to show in some later videos uh, is her intelligence her problem solving is absolutely incredible these guys are one of the most intelligent birds on the planet um, they're about as clever as a seven-year-old child so when you appreciate that maybe not when she's doing this um, you know you appreciate what these guys are like to work with <laughs> 